All the cells and organs in your body require water to function. Now for this reason, we have to constantly replace any water that's lost through sweat, urine, or breath. But did you know that drinking too much water can cause a serious condition called water intoxication? Now it can even be fatal. So we thought it'd be very interesting to take a closer look in this video. Water intoxication is defined as a disruption in brain function due to excessive water consumption. Drinking a lot of water increases the amount of water in your blood. Now this water can dilute the electrolytes in your blood, especially sodium. Uh, sodium helps balance fluids between the inside and outside of cells. So when sodium levels fall below 135 millimoles per liter, it's called hyponatremia. Now fluids shift from the outside to the inside of the cells, causing them to swell. And when this happens to the brain cells, it can produce dangerous and potentially life-threatening effects. Excess fluid accumulation in the brain is actually called cerebral edema, which can affect the brainstem and cause central nervous system dysfunction. In severe cases, water intoxication can cause seizures, brain damage, coma, and even death. That's right, it can actually be fatal. And I find this point particularly interesting because it shows that the dose of the substance is what makes the poison. Take arsenic, for example, a toxic substance found in rice. Now, because the amount or the dose in rice is so low, it's not harmful, it's safe actually. Same with water. The normal amounts that we're exposed to uh, are perfectly safe, they're healthy, but if you have excessive amounts, then even it can be harmful. Now we're not trying to scare people from drinking water. Uh, it's incredibly difficult to consume too much by accident, uh, but there have been documented cases. Many cases have been reported in soldiers. Now one report described how the death of three soldiers was associated with drinking 2.5 to 5.6 gallons or 10 to 20 liters of water in just a few hours. Now the reason this can happen is that the symptoms of hyponatremia can be misinterpreted as those of dehydration. So one soldier who was misdiagnosed as suffering from dehydration and heat stroke, he died from water intoxication as a result of repeated oral hydration. Now back to the real world, water intoxication also occurs during endurance sports events. Uh, at the 2002 Boston Marathon, 13% of participants had hyponatremia symptoms. Now 0.6% showed critical hyponatremia with sodium levels less than 120 millimoles per liter. Now unfortunately, some instances of water intoxication at these sports events have resulted in deaths. Excessive water drinking can also occur in psychiatric patients, particularly those with schizophrenia, and also at rave parties where there is significant uh, recreational drug use that tends to heighten the sense of thirst. Okay, so how much water is too much? Well, intoxication occurs when you consume more water than your kidneys can get rid of through urine. Symptoms of hyponatremia, which is the result of excess water, can occur from as little as 0.8 to one gallon or three to four liters of water in a short amount of time. Your kidneys can eliminate about 5.3 to 7.4 gallons or 20 to 28 liters of water in a day, but they can't get rid of more than 27 to 33 ounces or about one liter per hour. Therefore, in order to avoid hyponatremia symptoms, uh, you shouldn't drink more than 33 ounces or about one liter of water per hour on average over the whole day. So thankfully, it's near impossible to do for the average person. Now, if you wanna know how much you should drink, uh, you should check out our other video, how much water should I drink per day? Uh, we put the so-called eight by eight rule under the microscope. Oh, and remember the most important point here, which applies to all aspects of nutrition, it's the dose, not the substance, that makes them poison. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel, uh, be sure to click that big red button below the video, and then you can get notified when our new videos get published.